Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to find the volume of uh, a solid whose base is bounded by the circle x squared plus uh, y squared equal four and uh, whose uh, cross sections perpendicular to the x axis are equilateral triangles. First of all, you need to remember the equation of a circle. You remember an equation of a circle is x minus h square plus y minus k uh, square equal r square with uh, center hk and radius r. So as you can see in these examples right here, uh, what we have is the form x minus zero square plus y minus zero square equal two square. So now we can conclude that the center is uh, zero, zero, and uh, the radius r is uh, two. So you can graph uh, your circle if you want, you can graph it. Uh, um, well, suppose that uh, this is our uh, graph, okay? We're gonna use something different to uh, make the graph. Let's uh, use uh, some lines, right? If I do uh, this line, um, let's do it again with a different one. And that line, right? Yeah, so we can consider this is our x, y. All right, so this is uh, x, this is y, and this is x. Now you have a, sink, a circle, all right? Let's uh, use a circle to do that. Let's use this circle. Suppose this is our circle, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is really, uh, remove everything in the circle. So let's uh, make the circle just empty, no filling, all right? So uh, if we can consider this one as a circle, all right? That's exactly, let's keep it that way as a circle, all right? If you're okay with that, this is our circle. We would consider because the radius is uh, uh, two, that means starting from the origin, we're gonna consider one and we're gonna consider two. Negative one, negative two. One, two. Negative one, negative two. So remember uh, the radius is come from the origin to one side of the circle. So um, if you cross uh, the whole circle, then is the diameter. Now, what uh, next? Um, here, we just uh, have uh, a figure to illustrate uh, the circle, but what they ask us to do is uh, to find the volume of the, of the solid whose base is bounded by the circle. So we really need uh, uh, to set up, uh, you know, because we need to find the volume. But in this level, when doing calculus, uh, most of the volumes we're going to find is uh, to uh, use integral. Now, because we will do it with respect to the x-axis, so we know we would derive, we will take the antiderivative of a function uh, uh, with respect to the x-axis. So we're going to do dx. That's the first thing uh, you need to remember. Now, what we need to do is really find the area of the cross section, all right? Uh, because we're talking about equilateral uh, triangles. You know, equilateral triangle, when we said equilateral triangle, is a triangle in which all three sides have the same length and all internal angles are equal. And that means all the internal angles are, uh, you know, 60. So if you have any equilateral triangle for me, uh, that's something like that maybe, you know, that's let's say we call this one S, S, S for three sides. So S, uh, let's say S1, S2, and S3. 
S1 equal S2 equal S3. So either side you use would be fine. Now, let me use a different color to illustrate this. What they ask is, okay, so we know uh, we're gonna use the area uh, of uh, um, the triangle. So now if we construct our triangle, uh, in this case, uh, let's go. And uh, we're going just to take something like that. Uh, suppose I take this one. Um, you know what? I'm going to take it even further. Let's do the triangle right here. So I know that would probably be one of a triangle, but you can do more than one. So we can uh, consider going down here uh, to here. That's another triangle. Uh, you can do another one, you can do another one, but the most important is to remember uh, all sides are equal. So suppose uh, in these triangles, now um, once we have that, uh, you need to remember also, you can uh, look in your notes or doing some research, you would find out that the area of an equilateral triangle is A equal square root of three fourth. All right, so we're gonna have a square root of, uh, uh, we're gonna have a square root of three uh, fourth S squared. That means one of the sides. Now, we, as we said, we just take one of the sides of the triangle. Now, what would be that side? So we must uh, really find uh, uh, this side. So we need to convert. We need to try to uh, con uh, express that side in terms of x so we can uh, take the antiderivative with respect to x. Now, if we go back to our uh, equations, let's say we have x squared plus y squared equal 4. So we know y squared would be uh, 4 minus x squared. So y would be square roots of 4 minus x squared. All right. So 4 minus x squared, if you look at this, it is uh, like we have one half of the circle. It's a semicircle, semicircle, semicircle. All right. So once we do that, OK? So we make uh, the distance uh, S is going to be what? Because uh, for now, remember that uh, uh, the Y value equal square root of four minus X squared is only representing the top part of the semicircle. So it's only this part, right? But how about with this one? So we need to make sure we take both of them. So in this case, uh, we need uh, to make sure we multiply. I'm, I want to do control Z. Let's do control C to remove this. All right. So uh, what we do in this case uh, is really take the distance to the bottom of the circle as well. So at this point, as we said, we can consider that uh, S equal two times square root of four minus X square. Because as we said, um, square root of uh, four minus x squared is only sem semi uh, circle because only the top part, the, the top part of our circle. But uh, for the triangle, remember equilateral triangles, all sides are equal. We need to take all these vertical lines. So to, in order to take that vertical line right here, we need to make sure that we multiply it by two. Yay. Now, uh, what's next? When you take the volume, usually the volume uh, in this case, we learned that in class would be, um, you know, uh, the area dx. So what is the area uh, and of course AB. But in this case uh, for our AB, the limits of integrations is really take it from left to right because right here we have negative two and right here we have uh, two. So we're going to um, take the antiderivative uh, from negative two to two. What is A? Uh, um, A at that point, remember A now, because we had S and we remember A is uh, square root of three over four S square. So we can say that uh, our A 
is a uh, square root of three over four times uh, two square roots of four minus x square. Okay, now you have everything. Let's uh, rewrite it. Uh, square roots of three over four, two square roots of four minus x square power two. And of course we're gonna do dx. What would be the volume? The volume would be, because uh, as you can see, square root of three over four is a concept we can bring it in the font, negative two, two. And when you raise this expression to power two, uh, two power two give us four. When you raise the square root to power two, the square root is gone. You only have the radicand four minus x square dx. Now, what's next? Uh, because we have a four, if you want, you can bring it in the font uh, square. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, four square roots of three over four. All right, let's do square root of three over four, negative two, two, with four minus x square dx. Now, from here, I think uh, you can take it from there if I don't want to finish it, because you understand that uh, if you simplify by four, then you have only left square root of three. Uh, take the entire derivative of four minus x squared, that gives you four x minus x cubed over three, uh, with uh, the limit of integrations uh, negative two, two uh, bounded by negative two, two. Uh, now you simply need to plug those numbers um, as you do f uh, b minus uh, f of a. So uh, let's plug uh, two first, uh, four times two minus uh, two power three over three, that's the first one, uh, minus four times negative two minus negative two power three over three. Of course, we need to put a bigger one if all we use uh, to put this one. Okay, because we need to multiply by that square root of three. So square root of three, um, the, the, the first one would give us uh, um, eight minus eight over three. The second one would give us negative eight, but uh, when you enter that negative, it's gonna give us positive eight. Now, negative uh, two power three, any negative number raising to a power and that power is odd. That exponent is odd, so it's negative. So we're gonna have negative eight times negative, give us positive eight over three, but multiply with the negative outside, we have negative eight over three. You can combine those terms. So square root of three will give us 16 minus uh, uh, 16 over three. So when you simplify the inside, it's uh, end up giving you square roots of three times 32 over three. So you can leave it like this. If you want, you leave it like this, that's fine. Uh, or you can rewrite it as uh, 32 square roots of three over three because we cannot simplify by three. You can leave it like this or you write it in decimal 18.47 when you do it in your calculator, of course. All right. So this is how you proceed to find the volume of the solid whose base is bounded by the circle x squared plus y squared. The first thing is really to remember, uh, you know, the, the, the standard uh, equations, the formula for uh, um, a, a circle, a circle because uh, if the center is HK, in this case, HK is simply zero, zero. So the center, uh, the circle is centered at the origin uh, with radius uh, equal uh, two. Uh, but we can have one with a different center and a different radius. Uh, we focus on this one mostly uh, with the equilateral triangles. There are some of the um, exercises in the book that uh, you can see. Uh, we uh, focus on the cross section perpendicular to the uh, 
x axis squares instead of a triangle we're going to do it squares and at that point also you need to remember what is uh, the uh, formula for area of a of a square here it's uh, the most important is to remember the area of a equilateral triangles it could be a rectangle uh, it, it could be a right triangles you know it could be an isosceles triangle but in this case they said equilateral triangle and you do all the sides are the same uh, equal we just use one side uh, in order to uh, compute the volume, the volume, the volume is the integral because that's mostly what we wanted to do, uh, taking the volume of uh, the area with respect to x. Hope this video will help you to do more examples like this, especially the one that asks you to use uh, this a, a square instead of a triangle. Take care and have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.